Hi class and welcome to the second week. You guys made it through week one. Congratulations. I know that the first week can be rather chaotic as I stated in my email to you yesterday and that's why I was offering a freebie extension on that first week's quiz. So if you have not yet completed that, please shoot me an email through the messages link on the menu bar to the left asking me to reactivate it for you and I'll do that. Just make sure you do so and have it uh, submitted by this Sunday, the end of week two, along with all of your assigned uh, quizzes, forums, etc. for this particular week. Also, um, I hope that you took some time last week to get yourself familiar and acquainted with the layout of the classroom itself and that you're feeling more comfortable now as a result of that. Um, in particular, make sure that I reiterate, make sure that you're always looking at each week's lessons that are in the menu bar to the left. That's going to give you direction on how to complete all of your assignments along with some really good tools to help you learn the material. Especially for those of you that are visual learners like I am, there are video lessons offered in those lesson links each and every week. So take advantage of those and review those along with your other studies, including doing the lab work and assigned readings from your textbook for the course. Um, also make sure that you have uh, printed out the syllabus and the Science 130 course project guide. The course project guide has all the step-by-step -step instructions for each of the steps that you will be completing throughout the entirety of the semester to include the summary and outline due week three, the actual organism profile due week five, which is a paper, and then week seven you have the presentation due, which is going to be done via either Prezi or Screencast-O-Matic multimedia platforms. If you have any extra questions, please shoot me an email. Happy to, I'll be happy to guide you through those particular facets of the project. Um, also, just a reminder that the Eastern Time Zone is that time zone that the university operates in. I've put a clock up on the main homepage of the classroom, so you're always aware of what time it is in APUS time, and you can have your assignments in by the deadlines according to Eastern Time Zone. As far as grading and feedback goes, I know this is something that concerns each and every one of you. I know it did myself when I was a student. So I will have your grades completed for each week. I will start doing the grading the Monday following the Sunday due date and will have them graded within five days, meaning with by that Friday following the Sunday due date. I typically have the grades completed by Monday or Tuesday. It just depends on how many assignments and how many classes I have going on at that time. But I will send out an announcement each week letting you know when the grades are completed so you can go check your feedback thereafter. And I highly encourage you to go back and review my feedback. Um, and you can do that by clicking on the grade book link in the menu bar to the left. And then whichever assignment you want to look at my feedback, click on that particular assignment, say the week one forum. And a box with my comments will appear on the right hand side. And there may be attached documents. If so, open those up and review those as well. Of course, if you have any questions about that feedback or would like additional clarification, please let me know. I'm happy to assist you in understanding what you've done really well and areas where you may need improvement. And by reviewing that feedback, it can only help you do better as the semester rolls along. So use that to your advantage. Um, as far as forums go, you guys were really active last week. It's the introductory forum, so it's a fun one. Plus, you get to introduce your species, which is always a lot of fun as well. And in the following weeks, we're going to have some really good discussion topics, and I want to make sure that you all get really involved. This is a really fun area because each of you has experiences and opinions, and it's a really great way to share all of these um, experiences and our own research and opinions with one another and gain insight from different perspectives. So make sure you get those original forums up by midweek so we have the latter half of the week to really get involved in a heavy discussion and banter back and forth with one another. And lastly, uh, if you have any questions, again, please reach out to me. I'm always present and here to assist you when I can. If it's a question you think that might benefit the rest of the class, please post it in the questions and answers area of the forum area. And if it's something that's uh, more personal and you'd rather reach out to me on an individual basis, feel free to contact me through the messages link. So that's about all I have right now. Guys, have fun. Dive into week two, and we'll see you next week.